Netflix's Lupin was one of those surprise hits for Netflix that just took the world by storm. Starring Omar Sy as Hassan, a man inspired by the adventures of master thief Arsène Lupin, the show follows the character on his quest for revenge against the people who wronged his father. The first five episodes were filled with twists, turns, double crosses, you know, all that stuff a good thief show should have. But as we await anxiously for part two, we have some burning questions that still need to be answered. Here's a breakdown of some of the biggest right now. Oh, and off the bat, please pardon my French. Obviously, the biggest cliffhanger from part one was the tragic kidnapping of Raoul, Hassan's son. We last left things with the dastardly Lennard, who is Pellegrini's hitman, taking Raoul, even though he wasn't technically supposed to. The deal was to get Hassan and leave Claire and Raoul alone, but obviously plans changed when things didn't quite go Lennard's way. Now we have the perfect setup for the back half of the season, with Hassan having a new mission to get his son back. In the trailer for part two, Pellegrini talks about using using Raul as bait in order to get Asan to come to them. I mean, Asan has proven resourceful and tricky to pin down, so it makes sense to find a way to get him in Pellegrini's clutches. But now the big question, what's going to happen to Raul? Is this the type of show that would end tragically with the death of Asan's son? Could Asan be the one to sacrifice himself in the end to save Raul and therefore set Raul up in his own revenge path later in life? Kind of like a cycle continues type of thing? Or will everything end happily with Raul and Asan reunited at the end having bested all the baddies? Fingers crossed for that last one, right? First and foremost, we should always keep in mind that this show is about thieves and trickery, so it would behoove us to never take anything at face value. That's why we should seriously question just what happened with Asan's father all those years ago. We know the general setup. 25 years ago, Asan's father was accused of stealing a necklace from the Pellegrini family and went to prison, where he took his own life out of shame. That whole kerfuffle set up Asan to seek revenge in the present. But does he truly know the whole story? Could Babakar actually have been murdered? If so, that would change everything about Asan's quest for vengeance, especially because he might already know the murderer. Fans are quick to theorize that Leonard was actually behind Asan's father's death for a few reasons. The first is that Leonard kills Fabienne in almost the exact same way as Babakar dies, which may just be a subtle metaphor, but also fans notice someone like Leonard lurking around and smiling creepily at Asan before he found out what happened to his father. If that's the case, then it could turn everything we know on its head and make Asan even more determined to get his son back and take out Lennard and the Pellegrini family once and for all. Throughout the first part of Lupin, Yosef Gaderia was a detective who probably was too smart for his own good. He's the one who first pieced together that Paul Cernine and Arsene Lupin were anagrams of each other and from that moment he worked hard in unraveling what was really going on. Eventually he was taking off the necklace investigation by Dumont because he was just too good at his job and his last appearance on the show ended things on a major cliffhanger. Yosef finds Asan and calls out to him Lupin leaving everything in question. But will Yosef turn into an ally? That seems entirely possible. By all accounts, Yosef is a good man who wants to do what's right, and now that he's been burned by Dumont, this could provide Asan a powerful new friend who could seriously lend a helping hand. Or you never know, maybe Yosef will actually turn out to be a bad guy who refuses to help Asan, thereby providing an even bigger challenge to the master thief. Only time will tell for this question. Though maybe this is just me, but doesn't Yosef totally seem like the type of character who won't make it out alive by the end of the season. I think one of the most enigmatic characters in the show is Anne. You just don't quite know what she knows or whose side she's ultimately on. We know that when Asan's father was arrested for allegedly stealing the necklace, Anne was somewhat kind. Sure, when Babakar begged her to help her while he was being accused, Anne didn't say anything. But later she was told that a signed confession would reduce his sentence and therefore convince Babakar to cooperate. She seems to generally want to help and make up for her role in things, like secretly funding Asan's education, but is there more to her character than meets the eye? She seems to know the extent of Hubert's cruelty, and will she eventually have enough courage to stand up to him? She could potentially be the key to unraveling everything about the Pellegrini's corruption, but are we in for a swerve? In a show like this, her seemingly genuine desire to help Asan could actually be a front for something darker and more sinister. I'm just saying, in this show, I really don't trust anyone. Do you? Should you? I can't tell. 
Juliet surprised everyone at the end of part one when she became fully convinced of her father's innocence and ratted out the fact that Salvatore was actually Hassan, creating a whole mess of problems and opening up a whole new can of worms for Hassan. She's really locked into the mindset now that Asan is trying to destroy the Pellegrini family for false reasons and wants to protect her own. Is this the start of a new setup that will see Juliet become the big bad of the show? Think about it, I know Hubert as the big bad is a lot of fun because he's so sinister and powerful. But Juliet as the ultimate bad guy standing in Asan's way would make for a more emotional finale. We already know that Juliet has a darker side to her, but just how far will she go to protect her family? Even if she finds out that everything bad Asan Hassan says about the Pellegrini family is true, she seems like the type to try to cover it up in order to save face rather than to expose it all to the world. This could lead Juliet down a darker path, and honestly, I'd love that. I know I keep saying this about everyone, but Dumont will be an interesting character to watch when part 2 comes back. We know when we first met Dumont in the past, he was almost brave enough to stand up to Pellegrini. He realized that Assan's father was probably innocent and Hubert looked awfully guilty, and even said he planned on following the investigation to its conclusion. Way to go, Dumont! But of course, he caved when Hubert threatened Dumont's wife and even offered him a promotion if he went along with everything. Fast forward to the present and now Dumont is the chief commissioner, but the walls are certainly closing in on Dumont now that Assan is enacting his revenge. He seems genuinely torn about how deep he is in corruption and it's only a matter of time before he cracks. Here's what I'm hoping for. Dumont started his career as a good man and a good cop and I hope that side of him isn't lost forever. Okay, this one might not be the most depressing unanswered question, but it's one that I'm still curious about. We know that Asan and Claire have a very rocky relationship, and it's only going to get worse probably now that Raul is missing. But is this just definitely going to drive her into the arms of her mysterious new boyfriend? We know that Claire is dating a doctor, but other than that, we don't know much about him. Will the doc make an appearance in the back half of the season and become a major recurring character? Who knows? But I do know that in shows like this, whenever there's a third party love interest, don't trust them. Them. I wouldn't be surprised if the doctor has villainous intentions of some sort. Maybe he's Asan's long lost twin brother. Okay, fine, that seems unlikely, but I'm just saying it's not out of the realm of possibility. Lupin has a fascinating love triangle between Asan, Claire, and Juliet. We know that Asan loves Claire and his son, but he couldn't help but have that affair with Juliet, which created a whole mess of problems. But is there a way for this to peacefully resolve? Will Asan grow enough to realize how good he has it with Claire and Raoul, or will he give in to his dark temptations and restart his tryst with Juliet? Who knows? But bring on all that juicy drama. My biggest question is where can I learn how to be such a charming thief like a son? The dude's got charisma for days. It's unfair. It makes being a thief that much easier when you're that charming, don't you think? Anyways, bring on part two. Try to shine,